Welcome everybody. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to move photographs from one hard drive to another. The classic scenario that I get a question on probably once a week is when you're storing photographs on your internal hard drive, but you've run out of space. So you want to move photos from the internal drive to an external hard drive. There are different ways to accomplish this task. I'm going to show you the way that I prefer, which is entirely in Lightroom. Now the first step is to get your external hard drive to show up in the folders panel here. Lightroom only shows you hard drives that you've actually imported photographs from. Now if you already have photographs on that external hard drive that you want to have in Lightroom, then the easiest way to get your hard drive to show up here in the folders panel is to import those photos first. Then once you can see the external hard drive, you'll be able to move these folders down. So in that case, you would simply click on the Import button, and in the Source panel here on the left side, you would select the folder of photos that you want to import on your external hard drive. In the top center here, you would choose Add to add them to the Lightroom catalog without copying them or moving them from that external hard drive. So select the folder of photos over here on the external hard drive, add them to the catalog, and then go ahead and import. But in my case, I don't have any photos on my external hard drive. My external hard drive is blank, so I just want it to show up here in Lightroom so that I can move these folders down. So here's the trick for getting it to show up. What I'm going to do is click on the plus over to the right of the folders panel here and choose Add Folder. And then out in this Windows Explorer window or Mac Finder window, I'm going to select my external hard drive. Next, I'm going to click on New Folder. It's going to be in a different place in a Finder window, but I'll click on New Folder and I'll call this Pictures. Next, I'm going to go ahead and say Select Folder. So I have this Pictures folder selected. Now I can see that Passport external hard drive here in Lightroom. If I click on the sideways triangle on the right here to expand it, I'll see a Pictures folder over here. At this point, all I need to do, if I want to move all of the photographs, because they live for me in this Master Photos Go Here folder, I can simply click and drag this entire folder down and drop it right on top of Pictures. Or if instead you prefer to just put a subset of your photographs on the, on the external hard drive, you can drag whatever subset of folders you want down. Let me go ahead and collapse the years here. And let's say that I just want to put 2005 through 2010 on the external hard drive. In Lightroom 3 and before, I would have to click on each one of these folders and drag them down and drop them on pictures. In Lightroom 4, I can select the first, shift, click on the last to select all four folders. And then I can just click and drag from inside one of them and all four will come down. So when Pictures becomes highlighted here, then I can let go. Now you may get a warning dialog, mine's turned off, but it will warn you that you're moving photos on disk that you can't undo that step. That sounds more scary than it really is. What it means is that once you move folders as we're doing, you can't go up to Edit Undo to undo a move. However, you can always drag the folders back. So don't be afraid to say Move or OK if you get that warning dialog. Now in this sample catalog, I only have 531 photographs. So it's not taking too long to actually move these over. And I'm going to pause the video as it completes. But if you have tens of thousands of photographs, expect this process to take hours. You're moving dozens or hundreds of gigabytes of information. Now that the move is done, I realized that I didn't quite mimic my folder structure on the external hard drive correctly here. I could have deleted the video that I just recorded for you and done it again perfectly, but I thought it would be useful for you to see that you can always add subfolders here in Lightroom as well. So really, within Pictures, I want Photos Go Here. So I'm going to right-click on Pictures here, and I'm going to choose Create Folder Inside Pictures, and I'm going to call this Photos Go Here. 
and I'll say create. I don't want to include selected photos. That would just mean this highlighted photo gets moved into that folder. I'll go ahead and say create. Now I've got a photos go here folder and guess what? Now I'm going to click select these folders and I'm going to drop them down into photos go here. So I'm mimicking the same folder structure that I have on my internal hard drive with my newer years of photos. I just like to have everything consistent. Now if in fact you've moved all of your photos down here to the external hard drive so that for example you have a pictures folder up here that has zero photos in it then you can simply right click on that folder and choose remove so that it won't show in Lightroom anymore. Now finally let me point out that I've just shown you how to move your photographs from one hard drive to another. Your Lightroom catalog by default is still in your pictures folder on your internal hard drive. Think of the public library analogy where we have stacks of books and we have the card catalog. We've just moved the stacks of books. It takes a different process to move the card catalog over. If that's something you'd like to do, I have a separate blog post on this process that I'll provide a link for in the blog post where I post this video. I hope this has been useful. Thanks for watching.